Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. Well, we have a cold front passing off the coast this morning with a few lingering isolated showers, especially right along the Jersey Shore. Winds are veering to the northwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour, at times pushing to 15 miles per hour right along the coast. And temperatures range from the mid-40s to lower 50s over the interior and lower to mid-50s in the New York City metro. Mid-50s to lower 60s as you head down towards the Philadelphia metro. The warmest spot is down towards Wildwood where temperatures in the lower 60s. Now our cold front is pushing off the coast, but we have another wave of low pressure around Virginia. It's going to keep that threat for an isolated shower in the forecast for today. Other than that, a mix of sun and clouds, which are only pleasant weather conditions if we don't mind a passing shower or two. And you can see on the radar, we're not really dealing with any type of widespread heavy rainfall. Just a passing pesky shower, maybe producing maybe a tenth of an inch of rain, if that. Now, on the infrared satellite picture, there is a lot going on. I'm sure your eyes are drawn down to here. This is Tropical Storm Zeta. Zeta is pushing off of the Yucatan Peninsula, and it is expected to re-strengthen into our hurricane before making landfall around Louisiana, say southeastern Louisiana, by the time we get to tomorrow evening. Now, while this is making landfall, this strong upper level low will be intensifying and will be heading towards the Mississippi River Valley and then training all of this moisture and the circulation within this storm. Why is that important? Because that moisture is heading towards us by the time we get to Thursday. Oh yeah, and by the way, we also have this cold front right here. This cold front will be diving south at the same time. That cold front will bring cold air into the equation. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, a four-letter word I have not said in quite some time. That's right, snow. Snow will be a threat, especially for the higher elevations on Friday. So we'll dive into that in just a minute. On our visible satellite picture, well, not too bad. We have a light cloud cover, but notice we are seeing more breaks than we did certainly yesterday. So yes, there will be a chance of seeing a little bit more sunshine over the region today but again you're going to have to watch out for a few of those pesky showers so let's dive into this forecast for today watch out for an isolated shower other than that a mix of sun and clouds highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s for tonight on through tomorrow morning watch out for a pesky isolated shower other than that cloudy with lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s for tomorrow afternoon an isolated shower will be a threat we will see cloudy skies otherwise with Temperatures rising into the upper 50s to lower 60s throughout the region. Now, here is Zeta making landfall, and here's our powerful storm we were talking about. These two will start to interact and phase together on Thursday with a lot of rainfall heading towards our neck of the woods by the time we get to mid-Thursday morning. So look for showers in the morning becoming widespread and heavy as you head towards the afternoon. Meanwhile, there is our cold front that I was talking about with cold air behind it. So on Thursday, look for temperatures to range from the upper 40s to lower 50s for lows and highs in the lower to mid 50s. On Friday, temperatures will be falling throughout the day through the 40s and through the 50s, 40s, and 30s. Now for the interior, look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 30s, high temperatures basically going nowhere, mid 30s, with rain changing over to snow, and some of that snow will be accumulating especially in the Poconos and the Catskills, northern Connecticut. I can't rule out northwestern New Jersey in the highest mountains. I'm thinking about one to three inches here in this scenario. It's going to be a wet snow, and it's going to be hard to accumulate on warm surfaces like blacktop, for example. Any type of treatment on, on the roadways is going to just make the roadways wet. Okay. Meanwhile, along the coast, you're going to have high temperatures basically holding in the lower to mid-40s, but that will be early in the afternoon and then temperatures fall through the uh, 40s and into the 30s. With rain tapering off as a little bit of snow maybe along the coast. No accumulation but you don't be surprised to see a flake or two in the air on Friday evening. Now on Saturday which is Halloween it is going to be very chilly throughout the region on Saturday morning. With lows in the upper 20s to mid 30s high temperatures will range in between the lower to mid 40s. So you're gonna need a coat if you're going out or if you're doing that trunk or treat thing or something of that nature. Anyway, anything where you're going outside, you're gonna need a heavy coat. Now on Sunday, the high pressure system exits, look for scattered cloud cover, a bit warmer, 
Lows in the mid to upper 30s, highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. On Monday, a cold front moves through with a few isolated showers. Lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s, highs in the lower to mid 50s. And on Tuesday, high pressure will be in complete control with clear skies. Lows in the mid to upper 30s, highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, And as always, stay safe out there.